This morning, millions of people are either hitting the road or heading to the airport to travel for Thanksgiving. From winter weather to heavy traffic, it could be a slow day for a whole lot of people out there today. Yeah, unfortunately. Maybe a good idea if you just stayed home, mm -hmm. right? You're taking a live look at Reagan National Airport. It will be among the busiest airports in the country today with so many traveling to celebrate the holiday with their loved ones, including my dad. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he'll be on time. Brightside's Jenny Dean is at Tampa International Airport to talk about all things travel there. Jenny, how are things looking at the airport? Uh, people behind you already this morning. Just a few. I mean, actually, in about the last 20 minutes, this is kind of cleared out. It's been going kind of in waves as far as crowds coming in, but they're moving people through here really quickly. So things looking great here at Tampa International Airport. Now, it might be a different story on the roads. AAA estimates that there are 2.6 million Floridians that are going to be hitting the road to travel to their destination this year. And when you go to fill up, you could be in for some sticker shock at the gas pump because those prices, they've gone up just this week by almost 15 to 20 cents right here in Tampa Bay. And AAA also says that they get more than 368,000 calls for roadside assistance nationwide over the Thanksgiving holiday and 25 thousand of those calls are right from Florida. So they have the three most common things that drivers call about, of course, flat tires, dead batteries and getting locked out of their cars. Here's some things you need to do if you have not left yet and you are planning to travel in your car. Check that tire pressure and tread. Listen and feel your brakes. Make sure those are OK. Secure and test the battery on your car. Top off any engine oil and other fluids. Replace the wiper blades. Check the belts and hoses and, of course, have that emergency kit ready to go. Now back out here at Tampa International Airport, if you're going to be flying and you really need to take your famous casserole, well, you can carry that on actually. As long as it's not a liquid like a bottle of wine or some jelly or jam, you can actually carry pies and casseroles onto the plane, take it through security. One tip though, if you're picking up people here at the airport, Utilize the cell phone lot. You will thank yourself and you will make it a lot easier for the traffic coming around the airport as people come in. You sit in the cell phone lot, you can see when the flight lands, and as soon as your person calls you and says, I got my luggage, it's a quick curbside pickup. So that's the best advice I can give you for today. Everyone, hope everyone is traveling safe today. All right.